Okay, let's film something. Hey everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to a Wednesday video. Now it's getting pretty hot here in California, which reminded me of the first job audition. Whoa, I'm such a theater child, I was call an audition. And it's getting pretty hot here in California, which reminded me of the first job interview I had, which was for a lifeguard position at a gym in Michigan. So this was my first ever job interview, but the first thing that comes to getting a job is to fill out an application and to turn it in. So because I was applying at a gym, I had to make myself look really impressive on paper. But I also had to tell the truth, so I wrote down that I took swimming classes for a one summer that I have experience in martial arts as well as volleyball and I like to play basketball and I like to be all active and stuff which I guess caught their attention since they called me back for an interview. Now the interview went really well so after that interview came the actual training before we actually got the job. Now I show up to the first day and there were five other people but they aren't adults. They're five other high school swim athletes. So I already felt really awkward being the only legal adult at the ripe age of 21 but on top of that everyone brought in all of their high school swim gear stuff. They were there looking really cool and fit and stuff and I'm there in my insecurity outfit. And that insecurity outfit consisted of a one-piece bathing suit, a really heavy tank top, and basketball shorts. Which for lifeguard training was apparently a really poor choice. And everything you could possibly think of that could go wrong actually went wrong. Like I didn't know half of the swim techniques that they were throwing out at me. I just did the regular freestyle thing. I was just going forward and some kids were going backwards. So I was like, all right, I have to go backwards too. And I was just failing and really out of breath. And so I was like, I am so not fit for this right now. You'd think that one summer session of swim lessons would be enough. No, I felt like the Pillsbury Doughboy running a marathon that day. I finished last in all of the exercises and my dummy pretty much died because I couldn't get the brick from the bottom of the pool up fast enough because I was finishing last in all the exercises and I was out of breath and like a big fat so in the middle of the pool. In the end, I got fired before I even started and I left first because I didn't even pass like half of the first day. But my embarrassment was not over yet. By the time I was showered and outside, everyone was done and they were all leaving and I made eye contact with one of the girls and she looked at me and said, bye, see you tomorrow. In which I responded, yeah, okay. Now listen, I didn't want to stand there and explain my life story like, oh, actually I got fired and I'm not coming back and I may never see you again, bye. Point of the story is when someone says to you, oh, don't worry about it. There's something better out there for you. That is most likely true. And without direction from the Lord, you'll end up toiling and working your way around things and just end up getting worn out like I was both physically and emotionally. Cause only he knows what and where it's best for you. And the happily ever after to this story is that I eventually landed my first job at a thrift store and that honestly was like the perfect place for me to work at. Of which I eventually got fired from four months after. So I guess this isn't really a happily ever after. It's just reality, but that's a different story. Anyway guys, that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed my little story time. If you did, please Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you liked it and if you want I can do a little more for you. My previous video is right here where I did a cover of Troy Sivan's Where My OTP in time for Valentine's Day. It is over here for you to click and watch for yourself to see my next video which you'll find out on Saturday. You can do that by clicking right here or the subscribe button down there below so you can be notified of when I make a new video. Also be sure to follow me on all my social media links. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Vine if you are interested in those. You can find the links to those in the doobly doo below as well as these other two. They are down there as well so go check those out other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you on saturday for a brand new one goodbye because i couldn't get that heavy brick from the bottom of the ocean back up ocean because <laughs> only he knows what and where it's best for you that sounds like a <laughs> anti-glare my foot i got fired and whoa spring spring is coming